guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. It's been it's been a while. I think the last video we uploaded was actually when we first picked up this first in here behind me, which by the way, the giveaway for that truck is over and done and we should have a winner here approximately a week or so from the time you're seeing this video. That giveaway ended at 11.59 p.m. on January 14th. And Happy New Year, by the way. 2023 was great. It had its challenges, its ups and downs, but overall, every year is a good year if you can pick things apart to learn from and um, move on and move forward and make the next year the best. So anyways, this giveaway is over and gone, and I hope you guys loved this truck and the time that we had it up for grabs, which was a total of, uh, I think, about five weeks almost, start to finish. So that is over and gone, and we will have a winner for this thing, like I said, probably within about a week from the time you see the video here go live. And we did actually go pick up another truck, another first gen, and I'm gonna go show you this truck, and it is going to be the next giveaway truck, so just, uh, Get excited. We ordered a bunch of stuff for it. So um, that was a quick update for this one. Let's go. Let's go show you the next one. I got big dreams. I'ma do big things. Hey, you see me on the big screen looking so clean. I don't move slow. I move fast right past. Anybody taking life for granted? Yeah, that's too bad. I'd be grateful for everything that I have. You only got this life. You don't get it back. Make the most of it. Become the best that I can. Everybody look at me. I got a plan. You got to work hard, play hard. Do it from the start. Because how you do anything is everything is hard. Stay consistent and do it every day. Don't let fatigue get in your way. Cause 10% of something is better than nothing You better do something if you wanna be something I can feel my stomach rumbling, I'm hungry Big things coming, I ain't bluffing Here it is, it is a 1991 W250 5-speed manual 12 valve And uh, we did just do a 92 5-speed 12 valve 4-wheel drive truck And this is a 1991 5-speed 4-wheel drive 12 valve first gen Dodge here So Let's go over this thing, show you guys a couple of things about this truck and uh, why we picked this truck in particular all over again. And uh, let's go into it. So first and foremost, we are very biased to the 12 valve trucks and we love the first gen Dodge trucks. And this truck actually was for sale not too far from us and uh, wanted a very hefty price tag as you can imagine if you look at the body of this thing um, the truck was originally from texas the paint is not original paint obviously it is not a factory color but if you look at how clean this truck is um, it was a texas truck and then it was oil coated the last few years it has been here in the state of ohio uh, so when it comes to rust there's virtually zero rust. Zero rust on this entire truck. So it is, uh, it is very, very clean. And if you go into the interior here, you got that five speed, you got that four wheel drive. Floor is going to get, everything's gonna get deep clean on this truck. So, you know, we just picked it up last night. So it's still gotta get a deep detail, but there's the seat and the bench, very clean, no rips. Very nice newer headliner, matches the interior. This thing does have the, the old, the old faithful hand crank windows, the old manual windows. So very, very clean truck, and uh, we've got a we've got a handful of things you're going to be changing on this truck. And when you think about this truck, what does it make you think of in terms of previous trucks that we've done? Well, it should remind you of the 19. It was a 92 or 93 five-speed four-wheel drive, regular cab, long bed w350 truck that we just did so it was a dually that was just back in like july and august i think was when that giveaway had ran was the very very last bit of july through august and it was a exact same color same truck but it was a year or two newer um but same body style and everything same configuration other than that one was a dually so loved the dually and that truck was actually our fan favorite and you know customer favorite for the people that enter for the giveaways of all time it was our most popular truck of all time and so what we thought was why not bring that truck back but in a single rear wheel when we saw this pop up for sale uh, and it was like brand new paint, gunmetal gray metallic. And I was like, really, you know, so it went from, uh, you know, being for sale to now in our driveway, of course, but very, very, very nice truck. And of course, when I saw that he went with that paint on it, it's brand new paint. I mean, he just had it done a couple months back. Um, very, very nice 
paint work. There's a little bit of a little bit of swirls in there because I just tried to dry it off, but it's currently 10 degrees out, so there's a little bit of little small thin film of ice um, that kind of dried on the truck as well as I tried to clean it. But um, very very nice clean truck, uh, and the only thing that it's missing is the front bumper because it had a huge off-road bumper. He said and he hated it, so he pulled it off and just never got around to putting the new bumper on. But we do have one, and we are just waiting for the mounting brackets for the proper fitment for that OEM style bumper to go on. Very clean, relatively lower mileage truck. It's got 170 on the clock. And of course, this is 1991, guys. It's very, very, very old. So, you know, when you compare that to mileage, like uh, with, let's say, my dad's 2013 King Ranch, and he daily drives it, you know, pretty average mileage for just a daily driven truck all year round. And he's got about 160 on his, and uh, it's at 2013. So, Again, yes, it is a relatively low mileage truck for the year that it is. So very clean, hard to find in this kind of shape. Very nice truck. Give you another look at in the interior on this side. Again, no rips in the seats. Very, very clean truck. In the gauge cluster, it is actual miles. And he said that he did actually have it pulled out and rebuilt by a Mopar shop and they just made sure that you know all the gauges and everything functioned like they're supposed to. He said that the mileage always worked consistently but there were some things like with the you know coolant temp and voltage reading and some of the other stuff that was just kind of funky and it would come and grow come and go um, inconsistently but you know, he said when he gave me the title and uh, looked back at all the previous records that he had with it, the mileage is consistent and the mileage did consistently click up over the years. Um, and it made sense with all the documentation they had for services and stuff like that. So mileage is accurate. It is actually 170,500 and some change on there. Um, but he did have it rebuilt to make sure all the other gauges worked like they were supposed to as well. So. Um, like I said, very, very nice truck. It does have the vinyl flooring in it, which some people hate it, some people love it, but it is very clean to just take a warm, wet, soapy rag and wipe the floor out nice and easy. So that's a plus. You can see the cab here, drip rail. It does not have any drip rail leaks. It does have that Dodge Ram stamped tailgate. So it does not have the LE tailgate on it, of course, because it's not an LE but that is the original tailgate. Of course, they've just had it, you know, paint's obviously not original because it's changed to the new color of the truck, but um, very nice, very clean truck. It is leveled in the front. We are gonna be changing some stuff on this truck. So the way that you see the lighting on this truck, the tires on this truck, some of the other things that you see about it, they are going to be getting changed and we have everything for this truck already on order. We are just waiting for it to come in. As soon as we picked it up yesterday, we got everything on its way in. I do like the OEM Dodge grill that says Dodge in it with no cracks in the typical place where you find them and the original hood ornament from this truck all the way from 1991. It's still on there which is sometimes a pain and sometimes kind of hard to find. Um, but yeah, there it is in all of its glory. Let's get it started up. I'm sure you guys want to hear it. You didn't come all the way to YouTube and not to not hear this beautiful 12 valve start up. So let's get this thing here started up. And heat works in this thing great too. I drove it home yesterday and it was nice and nice and toasty. Parking brake does work on the truck. I did just have this running this morning. Because I had to wash this thing, so I had to move it from here to there. So it's not a true cold start if you're wondering. That's why it's not puffing as much smoke. But when you do cold start these things, every time I see the comments on Facebook or something, it blows my mind at how many people don't realize that these these old 12 hours are a literal tractor motor, you know, like when they're real cold, cold, cold starting, um, they puff a little white smoke for a minute or two or three, sometimes five, 10 minutes, depending on how cold and how long it's sat. I mean, it burns out some of that old fuel residue that's sitting in there, you know, and 
it's it's kind of normal like that red truck sitting out in the barn it you know it sits for weeks at a time because we aren't daily driving these things in the salt around here so they sit a while between times that we do videos and photos and stuff and pull them out so sometimes you know you cold start them they'll smoke a little bit but like i said this one i already ran a little while this morning when i was in washington so it's not a cold start but sounds great idols great love this color obviously i'm biased to it we painted a truck that color but love that color it actually just about perfectly matches my wife's truck too but a beautiful truck beautiful color very clean new bed liner the bed liner is also brand new from when he had the paint done a few months back so that's awesome i already had it running a little while this morning when i washed it so but yeah beautiful truck Hopefully you guys are excited about it. I know I am. Because uh, the last uh, charcoal grape version we did, you guys seem to really, really like it. And so we're gonna try to replicate that pretty much to a T. In terms of the way you see this truck, we're gonna pretty much completely replicate uh, the look of this truck to the way that one looked. Except for obviously that it's not a dually, but everything else that we did to that truck, we are doing to this one. So keep that in mind and i'm pretty freaking excited hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little update and reintroduction into 2024 i will get another video rolling here for you guys in about a week once all the parts come in for this we'll try to give you guys some updates um, with the new wheels new tires and lighting and accessories we put on this thing to really just top it off and make it the way we want it to appear for you guys um, but pretty excited about it hopefully you guys are too um, keep your keep your eyes on the social media pages and stuff we'll probably be dropping this giveaway if i'd guess if i'd guess i would say very early february is when this one this thing will go live but we want to make sure that the truck is done before the giveaway starts of course because we don't want to start it in you know new tires and lighting and all this stuff none of it's been changed out so um you'll see us probably early february with this thing going live so stay tuned Stay on the edge of your seat. We got a lot of new stuff coming to the website also. Trying to freshen some stuff up here for 2024 and bring you guys a lot of offering that we have not been able to for a long time and try to make sure we have ample inventory for certain things like our jerky and air fresheners and all that stuff that it's really hard to keep in stock. You guys seem to really like it. And so, you know, it's been kind of hard to keep it. Usually once it's in, it's gone, you know, within just a handful of days or a week of going in stock. So. We're going to try to do a little better at keeping that stuff available for you guys so you, when you do enter for a truck like this you can get what you really want and uh you don't have to settle for anything else so anyways guys stay tuned thanks for stopping in here leave a like comment down below let me know what you think of it and the plans we have for it and yeah good luck to everybody that entered to win that red first gen and we'll be seeing one of you here to pick that truck up very soon